What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the kingdom. We are playing some World of Warcraft, but um, basically, what I'm gonna do is I wanted to wait till Tuesday to do this mailbox opening, but I decided not the best way to do this. So, um, I'm gonna do my mailbox opening, and then I'm gonna talk about a little bit of gaming news that came out today, all in one video. Hope you enjoy. Um, the reason why I didn't wait till Tuesday, as you can see, my gold is low. So I am just going to open up what little bit I've sold. I got 37,000 right now, and I just can't really replan this stuff. So the jewels that I sold, the Charmine, uh, I can't even pronounce half of these, but the jewels that I put on, I bought a bunch of. Uh, uh, Imperium and uh, just broke it down and uh, sold the jewels uh, for a slight profit. So let's go ahead and open up the mail here. You know, like the uh, Ruby Band, a lot of like rings and necklaces sell usually pretty well. Um, I did sell one Obliterum um, that I crafted out of my. Uh, Ancient mana potions. Still have 83. That's probably about enough for another obliterum. But, uh. You know, like, and then, you know, I got the demon steel stirrups. Hold four of those total. Um. Hold some gem chips. So I'll stack 200 stack of gem chips. Oh, not too bad. We'll go ahead and just do my math opening up here. And then I'm going to go through, I don't know what I'm going to do here in this video, but um, I'll end up going through here. And the fell slates at a good price right now. Uh, Laystone's not that great. Um, and breastplate. Ethereum's at a pretty decent price right now, too. So, I have to do that. So, that is basically, I'll just go through here. Yeah, I don't have that. So, I'll probably get some fur, craft it, put it up on the auction house. Stuff that I don't have that's over 200 gold profit. Oh, see, I don't have that. It hardly sells, but it'd be nice to have. I got a frozen orb. I'll probably pick that up. Frozen orb, if you get a bunch in there bunch uh, for 50 gold you can easily flip it uh, like the internal shadow look at that just for 97 gold you can pretty much double your money on just frozen orbs if there's some um, internal fire I think it's another one we got 424 gold right there for for a 50 gold item so there's definitely money to be flipped if that's uh, the route that you want to go I think internal water is one. Alright, so I could use that turn it into internal water. You gotta the frozen orb to internal water. You gotta do that in the old Dalaran. Now all the like these internals, that's all there from the frozen orb vendor. So there's there's some gold to be made. I'll go through that here later. So we're sitting at what? Ten thousand or so? So thirty-two thousand. Mainly from jewel crafting. Blacksmithing, you don't sell a whole lot through blacksmithing. Um. Uh, let's see what we got here. Let's go to the next one. Uh, I don't know if you guys tell, I did hit my third 110. I know it's a demon hunter, nothing super special, but I did hit it. So, I'll go there. Um, so I'm not going to do a mailbox opening on Tuesday, guys. I will end up doing another one next week. My numbers are going to be a little bit high from the video. Um, but I'm going to jot down as well before I 
Let me clear out my expired. Put that in my mailbox here. So I've got 28,000 here. I've got some enchants, a hex weave bag. I'm gonna make another one of that. Look at that tomb of illusions. I, uh, I couldn't do that. I didn't have enough gold to make another one, but that's 10,000 right there. That alone is about half of what I sold. But uh, uh, I'm not sure what that was. Some enchants, 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 bags. Uh, so this kick to sell is a little bit of this, a little bit of that, nothing super spectacular, but let's grab it. That's 28,331. Look at that. Only have 741. Go ahead and open up the mail here. And we are done. So now I'm sitting at 29,141. And I will, like I said, I will jot that down this one uh, we gotta set this one up just a little bit more this is my um, inscription and alchemy I think Yeah, description and alchemy, which I gotta work on a little bit. Since I don't have any mail, but I think I do. Yes, I do. 280 gold to sell. Let's see. Oh, that's fine. I wanted to hold on to that. I got this obliterable. Oh, I'm gonna post this tonight, too. So, here's another thing, guys. I was going to post this when it was down to like 12. 100 gold, but I held on to it. So now it's going for almost 2,000 gold. So you just gotta know when to sell stuff. I know that wasn't a super necessity thing, but uh, I'm gonna do that right now. So there's 580 gold right there. Um, I sold this ring, and basically it was transmog type stuff. I sold it at a pretty low price. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to probably leave that in there because my editing software sucks. I do apologize for that. Oh. And this one I'm still leveling. As you can see, that level 73. I don't even know if I'm not buying a mailbox. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh. Oh, I am near a mailbox. We got one thing that's showing up. I know some other stuff coming, which will be show up. Uh, I'll hold on to that. So I got two thousand gold on this character. Not horribly bad. Um, I mean, there's another two hundred and eighteen gold. Uh, Raider's Cutlass of the Tiger, which I'm um, pretty sure is just another transmog thing. Um, I'm gonna hold off on. Keeping this gold for this character, um, you can see I really have nothing to sell. Um, I'm gonna self cover bomb, rough copper bomb. Um, the uh, you need engineering to even use it. Um, and you see the sell average region sales price is point zero one. So even though it only takes three gold to craft, and it's going for forty-three gold, roughly on the auction house, but look, the market's only nine gold. So you're really not going to sell it for forty-three gold. I'll be lucky to get five gold out of it, um, and then just the relisting fees on that is not really going to be worth it. Um, I might craft something like this, one, couple of them maybe, um, see where it goes. Um, but if I have to relist it like twice. I probably end up just vendoring it. Um, and the only reason I would potentially do that would be to lift my engineering up some more. But I think I'm just gonna overall hold off until Legion. I get the Legion content. 
So what I'm going to do guys next week is I'm going to open up my mailbox, um, any of the uh, like caches and stuff that I haven't opened up yet. I'm going to hold off. I'm going to open that all that up on my Tuesday. Record it Tuesday so you guys will see it on Thursday. I might pull the trigger and upload it on Wednesday. We will see. Uh, next week guys, uh, VidCon. I got my VidCon ticket so you're probably going to get quick little videos of updates of VidCon. Um, obviously I won't be able to show footage or anything. But uh, we'll, we'll definitely talk about it. I'll probably launch some World of Warcraft. Um, probably doing stuff. Uh, might do some videos of... Ah, excuse me. Um, might do like a recording of some mount farming or just overall invasion or something. Uh, video content for you guys um, in the background while I talk about a little bit of BlizzCon and stuff like that. We'll see what the topic will be, what I'll be doing in World of Warcraft, but that's the plan with that. Big gaming news though, guys. Big gaming news. Um, GameStop. It's leaked. This is not official by any means. I want to let you guys know that straight up. No joke. Um, you people posted on the Twitter and tagged GameStop in it. GameStop has deleted them. GameStop has not responded to this at all. So, um, but uh, people have tweeted at GameStop, and it's just I can't find any more of those tweets. So they, I'm pretty sure they're pretty much instantly being deleted. With that being said, uh, an ad has leaked today, guys. And uh, on that ad, it says in mid-November. So it's kind of weird it didn't have a date. But mid-November, you're going to be doing sign-ups to rent games from GameStop. Pay $60 for six months, and you can rent one game at a time, a limited amount of times in that six months. Um, it has to be a used game at the GameStop that you did the uh, $60 purchase at. Um, and at the end of the six months, according to this leaked ad, you get keep the last game. So, um... You know, maybe the day before it expires, you just go turn it in, do your quick shopping, and that game will be yours. Um, don't know the exact details on that, if it's going to be just a one-time window to see how it goes. We will see. Um, here's my take on it. Like, everybody is GameStop haters. Yes, GameStop has done some questionable things in the past. And I've seen a lot of negative things towards this, and I don't see why this is negative. So you pay $60. If you are smart, you will walk out with a used game retailing at GameStop for 50 bucks, right? So you get a newer release, it's used, 50 bucks. That is yours. So for $10 more, you can try as many video games out that you want. So here's where GameStop gets interesting. Like, you want that game, you need to take your chance, and hopefully there will still be used copy when you go towards the end. Or you can buy it. They're hoping that you're going to buy that there, give them the money. Everybody's like, well, this is a last just for effort. GameStop, they're in panic mode. Are they really in panic mode, though? Think about it, guys. You have... EA Access or Origins if you're on PC, right? Monthly. Boom. You have you know, the Humble Bundle, does monthly things. I mean, you don't get to really choose your game, um, but it's a monthly fee and you get a bunch of games for free, right? For that month. Oh, you can keep those though, but I'm going to put that in this category as well. You got EA. I'm sorry, you said EA already. You got the Xbox Game Pass that they keep adding games to. Amazing deal, pretty awesome, if you ask me. I mean, why not, right? Um, you got the PlayStation Now, yes, now I think it's called. So, you got Sony's got one, right? They're now adding PlayStation 
four games in too to try to compete with Xbox. I mean, you always have game fly you can do monthly with. This is a way for GameStop to say, look, you can still buy the game that you want. You have the digital uh, games as well. You can go buy digital games through GameStop. You have uh, just an overall plethora of these rental type services out there, monthly services out there. And uh, for like EA access, the all games need to go up. They took one game down because the service went down, whatever, right? Um, you're not limited to a select library with those. You are to an extent if your GameStop doesn't have a used copy that you want, but I bet you um, Shadow Motor will be there in like two weeks. Somebody will be like, you know what, I'm done, I beat this game, I don't want it anymore. Boom, give me my give me my 30 bucks, right, half the price that I paid, and I'll use the 30 bucks for another game, right? Why not take that opportunity to just use it for you, right? That, I'm sorry, I'm not really doing anything in WoW. I'm just kind of doing it as a backdrop. Um, but why would you not want to? It's a perfect opportunity uh, to get into that market, uh, get people in your actual store. Like those um, online, I mean, you, you look at it, it's in a digital marketplace. It may show you other games that you maybe suggest, you know, suggested for you, depending on how it's set up. But you have to physically walk into the storefront. So let's say you really like this game, but you're like, you know what, maybe I'll come back and get it after my six months. This will be the game that I'm thinking about getting, or you may get it. They also have nerd stuff there, like they've got the, was it Think Geek? You got shirts, um, pop vinyls, they're all there, like it's there for you. You walk in, get what you want, right? You... Just in all time. the game playing, you see this thing controllers weighing down, you go get a controller while you're in the shop. Like, it's, it's a great marketing move, I think, for GameStop. And I think it really is power to the players on this one. I know they've done some shady things before, and I, I mean, yeah, but I think this is a great move for GameStop. You guys may hate it, you may love it. I don't know, but let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know if you think I'm wrong with this GameStop thing. Let me you know your perspective on it. I know this is a long video, um, this will be going up. I will literally upload this as soon as I stop recording, and I will have this going live on Sunday. I know, Sunday video, what? But right, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you did. If you didn't, uh, just let me know. Give a thumbs down. Tell me what you didn't like, what you'd recommend next time. I'll take your feedback in consideration. I am out of breath. <laughs> So guys, that's all I got to say about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys again soon. <laughs>